Checking back in now with Amanda Venicky, who spent the day reporting in Garfield Ridge as a part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Amanda. Brandis, earlier today, I caught up with the 23rd Ward Alderperson, Silvana Tavares. She doesn't just represent Garfield Ridge, she lives here too, as do a lot of first responders. So I started off by asking her about policing, including how the community is, as it is still reeling from the killing of police officer Ella French. Here's more. Well, first of all, last year I voted no on the budget because it's wrong to cut funding for the Chicago Police Department. And now we find ourselves that the police officers are forced to work 12 hour shifts with barely enough time to sleep, let alone see their families. The city of Chicago needs to recruit more police police officers. I want to see more police officers in the 23rd Ward. Residents do not feel safe. We need to fund police departments. We need police recruitment, training, and we need to improve the morale. We need to improve the morale within the Chicago Police Department because officer wellness and community safety go hand in hand. How do you respond, however, to residents that say, I don't want more police in my neighborhoods. They make me feel more unsafe. Or is that not something that you get from your constituents? I work with our local district commander in the 8th district and I used I worked with him to purchase multiple cameras in the ward for the ward out of my district allotment because it is going to help police to do their jobs to help keep us safe. Yeah, I know that was an issue that aldermen were having to give money that would otherwise be spent on infrastructure and instead put it toward police cameras. Are you hearing enough from superintendent David Brown for what he needs in order to boost morale, mm -hmm. hire more officers. Mm -hmm. I made it very clear when we called the hearing back on July 1st, we had that hearing over the July 4th weekend. I expressed my concerns about officer wellness, about the 12 hour shifts. I, I'm not gonna vote for a budget that's gonna cut funding for public safety. Um, we need funding for our police department. And I'm also not going to balance the budget on the backs of homeowners like those in Garfield Ridge. So some of those homeowners, many of them are elderly. Are you getting a lot of questions as the Delta variant is very much here about boosters, vaccinations? What are you telling people, mm -hmm. particularly these senior residents that are concerned? We need to focus on accessibility because the easier we make it for residents to get vaccinated, um, I, we need to encourage residents to get vaccinated. We see progress by encouraging residents. And w by, I find it that when we make the process easier, it's easier for residents to get vaccinated. And that's what the city needs to be focusing on. Is, Is the city doing enough there? On, well, last year, I'm gonna tell you something. In March, we had a vaccination here in Garfield Ridge. It was at Hale Park. We vaccinated, we partner up with the city and we vaccinated more than 500 residents, particularly senior citizens over the age of five. I'm working to get another vaccine event and flu shot this fall here in Garfield Ridge because you do have these seniors who want to get vaccinated near their home. And that's what I mean. We need accessibility. We need to make it, we need to encourage residents to get vaccinated. Now, the governor just announcing a mask mandate and then in select cases, vaccination requirements statewide. The mayor also now saying that this is required of all city workers, getting some pushback from unions. Where do you stand? Should vaccinations be required for city employees, including officers? Yes, no, like I mentioned earlier, we need to focus on accessibility. Okay, we need to encourage residents to get vaccinated. Uh, we need to, because what I find is that I find it easier when you find it when you find the process to make it easy process you also find it easier to you find residents to do it and so that's what the city needs to focus on is so accessibility encourage not, required. Encourage, encourage not mandates encourage not mandates mandate is not a right approach and i hope that the city and the unions do come together to figure something out that will be supportive of the city workers because many of them like our first responders and our police have been working hard since the beginning of the pandemic they, they, they don't have the work from home. They have been out there in the front lines keeping us safe. 
Now gearing up, of course, for some city council budget battles there, but Tabaris' office teaming up with the Garfield Ridge Neighborhood Walk to host a fundraiser, Get Behind the Vest, early October, October 3rd, I believe. Now we'll be back again with somebody from the city's aviation department as we hear planes from Midway flying overhead. For now, back to you. Well, there's a watch party going on right there in Garfield Ridge. So Amanda, shout out actually, to them. that was a very impassioned uh, interview with the alder person there. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you in just a bit. And now, Paris, we go back to you.